You know, I've always worked on the principle that ideas have consequences and ideas are more powerful than the politician. And I remember very clearly in the 19, uh, in 70s, in the 76, when I first went there, I was interested in it, but nobody cared, nobody paid any attention. But because the Fed is doing such a disastrous job, especially in these last several years, it has become a big issue. And of course, you understand the significance of the monetary issue when it comes to financing all of government. Uh, you know, I, I, and I talk to people about the Fed. And you know, it's amazing how many people think it's a branch of government. They think it's basically the Department of the Treasury, and it's and it's well regulated and it's transparent. And and uh, uh, somebody said, "Well, explain it to me in ten words or less." I said, "Well, they print money out of thin air, and you pay interest on it." And he said, well, "I want to know more about that." And I said, "Well, so do we." And so there we are. <laughs> Obviously, she never answered the question. Yeah, that's right. Uh, other than to say they fear being second guessed or criticized for any decisions that they make. Well, that's not a legitimate reason uh, to operate behind closed doors. I, I don't think she could not give me one example, one real time example of why that would be bad and why it's not important. And, you know, auditing these things after the fact has no influence on decision making. Any decision you make now that we might examine at a later date, the later date examination doesn't affect how you thought right now. But it would let people know what we were thinking when we did it, and that seems to be what they're afraid of. Right.